Again, not a top five list, just a list. Hey, thanks for coming to check us out again here today at New York Eternix. As you can see, I'm out running errands once again. Today, I'm on my way over to the Tractor Supply. Uh, it's about 25 minutes out, the one that I'm going to. Uh, reason being is because I'm looking for the Purina 30% Turkey uh, and Game Bird starter feed, and they carry it there, but not at the local Tractor Supply, which is only about 10 minutes out. So I'm going to that Tractor Supply. Anyway, figured since I'm going out, I got everything set up in the car, might as well do a quick video, why not? I uh, want to thank you guys before we even begin for all of the support and if you haven't already done it subscribe to the channel please and thank you and hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever we do leave a new video on the channel whenever anything happens on the channel uh, that would be greatly appreciated and uh, yeah so we're going again over five reasons why quail are going to be the best bird to raise on your homestead whether that be urban or even you know rural urban rural it doesn't make a difference quail are that small and uh, unintrusive that you can raise them pretty much anywhere so as far as the five reasons these aren't even top five reasons i might do another video with five more reasons why quail are the best birds to raise on your homestead urban homestead garden whatever all right so one of the reasons that stands out the most to me is the turnaround time with quail quail eggs and i've mentioned this before in my past videos quail eggs only take about 17 to 19 days to hatch and after that they take about five to six weeks to fully mature and start laying their own eggs and reproducing so think about that you have less than a two month turnaround from you know egg to getting more eggs and that alone is one of the reasons that a lot of people do choose to raise them on their homestead. Quail have the turnaround time of no other bird. Uh, chickens turn around time probably four times that. I mean, I can't even think of it at the top of my head right now, but uh, chickens turn around time nowhere near that. Pheasant, nowhere near that. A lot of birds cannot keep up with quail. They reproduce like rabbits. So quail is one of the birds that you can start with and keep in rotation constantly without you know much work well I can't even say that because there will be work on your part because you're gonna have to incubate those eggs because female quail don't get broody well female quaternix quail don't get broody so you're gonna have to incubate those eggs yourself my friend but the turnaround time is one of the biggest reasons that people decide to keep quail. So that has made my top five list, or excuse me, that has made the list of five reasons to keep quail. Again, not a top five list, just a list. All right, and another reason. One of the other reasons that people decide to keep quail is because they don't require much space at all. Quail, they say if you give it one, one square foot of space per bird, and this you know depending on who you ask and there's a lot of other factors involved why you're raising these birds one square foot is arguable per bird we also have to take cubic feet into account too there is the uh school of thought where you don't want to build at a certain height your you know quail enclosure only because if your quail gets startled they will shoot up in the air they have a tendency to jump straight up in the air and bash their heads and you don't want that to happen so you know if you're raising your quail for meat and eggs it's perfectly okay in my mind to you know bunch them in a little bit more um for instance i have a double layered hutch double tiered hutch eight by three on each level half of it's dedicated to covered space on each level and I can house anywhere from 50 to 100 birds in each level. So let's take that into consideration. And, you know, we can come up with a uh, reasonable amount of space for birds that are being raised for meat and eggs. Now, chickens are really noisy and a lot of other birds, especially game birds, are really noisy. And this is one of the reasons that I chose quail. 
quail aren't really all that noisy at all. So I can raise quail in my backyard and as long as I don't have too many roosters, it doesn't get too rowdy back there. There's plenty of videos where you can, you know, check out quail sounds, quail rooster sounds, quail hen sounds. It's pretty pleasant and a lot of people welcome it. And they don't scream at a volume that's, you know, too bad. Well, they're, they're not too loud. Quell aren't too loud. Uh, the roosters, they will have screaming contests from time to time, but you know, that's to be expected. But if you keep roosters around, what do you expect? Um, but again, even they aren't too loud. Quell are one of the quieter birds. I mean, they aren't quiet, but uh, as far as my experience, finches are louder than quail. So let's go there. And if you're raising quail in an urban environment, that's, that's going to be a plus for you because you're not going to have neighbors complaining about the noise level. Uh, especially if you're doing it somewhere, you know, like indoors in an apartment building or something like that. Uh, so keep that in mind. Quail, they are relatively quiet compared to other game birds, other poultry, that is. This brings us into one of my favorite reasons for raising quail, eggs. And the eggs to me are a lot better than chicken eggs. They taste better than chicken eggs, in my opinion. But, you know, my opinion isn't the, uh, you know, end all be all. So uh, there are a few scientific facts. Now keep in mind quail eggs are a lot smaller than chicken eggs. So we're going on a ratio, let's say 10 quail eggs to three chicken eggs. And you're going to have, uh, well, there's three key points that I want to make as far as vitamins are concerned with uh, that ratio. You eat those three chicken eggs or those 10 quail eggs, you're going to have the added benefit with quail eggs of more riboflavin or vitamin B2, uh, vitamin B12 also, and iron. There's considerably much more of these vitamins in quail eggs than there are in chicken eggs. And we can go over the benefits of each one of those. Okay, so we have vitamin B2, which again, it's riboflavin. All right, so your body definitely needs riboflavin. Riboflavin is what helps your body break down proteins, fats, carbohydrates into energy. And without that, you'll be a slug all day. Riboflavin is definitely one of the uh, higher concentrated vitamins in quail egg. And then there's iron. Iron's one of those things that our body needs. And, you know, we all think we have enough of it until we don't. And we can't regulate our body temperature. And then some of us have been through it. Some of us haven't. But iron is just one of those things that you want to keep in your diet all the time. Then there's vitamin B12 which is cobalamin. Vitamin B12, your body can't produce by itself. Go figure. And, you know, it does go to support the normal function of your nerve cells. And uh, you need it to create red blood cells. So, you know, I guess the more the better. Cobalamin, vitamin B12. It's also needed for DNA synthesis. And the final point that I want to make here as far as the, you know, five reasons that quail are, in my opinion, the best birds to raise on your homestead is because generally they're the easiest because of a lot of these reasons that I've already gone to explain in this video and in my last video and the benefits of raising them. They're just, you know, it, it, it just adds to the ease. Uh, you feed them once a day, make sure they have food and water available to them at all times, change their bedding you know, make sure that the, their general health is good. These birds will take care of themselves and in turn take care of you. It has over this last nine months or so been a very rewarding experience to raise quail. And again, to provide you guys with information while you guys in return provide me with information has been one of the most rewarding things to all of this. So again, when you raise quail, as you know, with any other animal, you're gonna learn things. And that is always an added benefit to anything. So reasons, reasons, reasons. Let's all learn stuff, people. 
All right, and I'd like to say thank you guys once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Coternix. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. Also, if you have any reasons for raising quail that you want to share or have any ideas or thoughts that you want to share on other animals that are easy to raise on a homestead, please feel free to leave that in the comments as well. Also, I would just want to say leave a like for the video, of course, and subscribe to the channel for more. Hit that notification bell so you're notified anytime we do leave anything new on the channel. And I'd like to say thank you guys for coming to check us out again at New York Attorneys.